Other is a cardia. It is also called as cardiospasm or a peristalsis because of the increased resting tone of the lower esophageal sphincter. Remember that this is a pre malignant condition. Coming to the classification, either it can occur primarily like birth due to the degeneration of the inhibiting neurons, uh, or it can be due to secondary uh, as a result of infections or malignancy. Like uh, infections like the Chagas disease can cause this, or it can be due to autoimmune conditions like sarcoidosis or amyloidosis can also result in aphalasia cardia. So either it can be genetic, or it can be infectious, or it can be due to invasive cause, or it can be due to autoimmune cause, right? So coming to the next one, that is pathogenesis. It is mainly due to the decreased nitric oxide and vasoactive amines, which is going to result in degeneration of the uh, myentric plexus and vas plexus. Coming to the signs, uh, the three most important signs you have to remember here is the presence of regurgitation, dysphagia, and weight loss. And remember this that uh, since there is a cardiospasm taking place here, therefore the person will not have any heartburn. Coming to diagnosis, uh, the main modality of diagnosis of this condition is by barium swallow. And what you'll find is bird beak appearance will be seen. Okay, then second thing you have, you'll be noting is that there will be no fungal gas bubble and there will be enormously dilated esophagus, also called as cucumber esophagus, is going to be present. How do you treat this? So there are uh, three uh, ways by which we can treat them. First, we are going to start by giving botulinum toxin to the patient or by nitroglycerin, which are both going to expand or dilate the lower esophagus sphincter. Uh, if this is then we are going to try some non-invasive methods like Plummer's pneumatic dilatation or Nagus hydrostatic balloon dilatation can be done. But even if that fails, then we are going to go with modified Heller's cardiomyotomy. Remember, it is modified Heller's cardiomyotomy and post -surgery, surgery the person has to be continued with PPIs. Then finally, complications that can give rise to this carcinoma esophagus because this is a pre-malignant disease and if it's left like that only, it can progress to carcinoma.